Hi, hello everyone, this is Sam. Um, this week we had a Zoom class, which I was meant to record, but I forgot to record it. So, <laughs> so I have to do it again. So this is a level two stroke three um, Pilates class for this week. Here we go. So back to back for me, I've just finished the Zoom class and now I'm going to um, do another one, especially for you. And I'm going to dedicate this to my mom, who I know is following every single day. And also to my friend Monica, who is also following. And we, I also heard that there is a very special boy, Matteo, who is also following the classes. So I hope you enjoy it. Off we go. All right. So I'm already warmed up, but I will, you know, still give you a nice little warm up. So let's start feet apart, knees slightly bent. Bend the knees, lift, breathing in and breathing out. Two and lower. Three, good, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Okay, feet slightly apart, toes pointing out. We're going to swing the arms in, lift, stretch, lower, swing, lift. Work with your breathing. We're still warming up. So nice and slowly, swinging those arms. Keep the knees slightly bent. Feel those leg muscles working. And stretch. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Left elbow on your left knee. Stretch the right hand up towards the ceiling. We're now going down towards the floor as you breathe. Big circle, stretching up the spine. Breathing out. Three. Four. Five. And release. Hold that position. Feel that stretch. And change. So with the knees slightly bent, feet pointing out. This is our starting position. Right elbow on the right knee. We're going to do really nice big circles down towards the floor. And lift. Two. Three. Four. Five. And hold. Feel the stretch. And release. Good. Well done. Open your hands, palms facing the floor. Bend the knees as you go down. Lift. Down. Lift. Work with the breathing. Breathing out. And in. And out. Bend those knees. Knees facing out. Lower the hands and then stretch up. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. All right, let's bring our feet closer to each other. Bend the knees just a little bit. And we're going to do a forward row, chin down towards your chest. Slide those hands all the way down towards the Floor and roll back up nice and slowly, one vertebra at a time. And again, breathing in, nice roll down all the way down towards the floor. And breathing out. And again, repeat, breathing in. And breathing out. Let's do two more warming up the spine. Nice roll down towards the floor. And roll back up. And one more chin down towards your chest. Roll down. And roll back up. Good work. All right. So from there, I'm going to take the right foot back, stepping back, 
If you have any problems, I suggest you stay here, okay? This is still challenging your core. Hips facing forward. This knee is a little bit bent, okay? And we're working the core. If you don't have any hip problems, you can go a little bit further down into a lunge as we stretch both hands up and return. So working the right leg, stepping back, choose your level. This could be your level or lunging all the way down and return. Three and return. And four, keep those knees facing forward. Don't let the knees roll in as much as you can. Hips facing forward as well. And five. Return. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. Stepping back with the left. Again, I'll show you. Level one, you're just going to step back, right knee just a little bit bent, or else lunge all the way down. Choose your left, whatever works for you. Stretch those hands up and return. Two steps, stretch, return. Stepping back with the left, lunging on the right knee and return. Four. Five. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good work. All right, standing at the back of your mat. So we're going to do a forward roll, walk with our hands into a plank position, and then roll back up. This is quite fast-paced, okay? So if it is too much for some of you, then I suggest you stay in that position, okay? All right, so standing at the back of your mat. Slowly roll all the way down towards the floor. Hopefully you're a bit warmer by now. We're walking forward with our hands into a plank position. So nice and strong on your core. A few seconds in this position. And then walk back. And we're rolling back up. And we're repeating, rolling down towards the floor. Walk forward with your hands into a plank position. Keep your back straight, hips in line. A few seconds. And walk back. This will really give you a nice stretch in your hamstring as you're walking back. And rolling it back up. And one more. Chin down towards your chest. Stretch all the way down. Walking forward into the plank position. A few seconds. And walking back. Breathing out. And roll back up. Good. Well done. All right, let's sit down on the mat. Feet close to your body, knees bent. Sitting on your sitting bones, so you kind of might want to find them a little bit. And this is your starting position. Breathing in to prepare. As we breathe out, we're going to curl that lower back down, okay? As we lean back. We're starting with our hands on our shins, so that's easier. Feel that your core is engaged, that these muscles are working, and lift as you breathe out. Breathing in, curl the lower spine, start leaning back. As soon as you feel that those muscles are on, that's where you hold, keep an eye on your shoulder and neck, make sure that's nice and relaxed, and breathe out. And repeat, breathing in, leaning back. And breathe out. And again, leaning back as you breathe in. Carry your spine, feel your core muscles working. Shoulders stay relaxed. Head stays facing forward in line with the rest of your spine. Breathe out, lift. 
Five more, nice and slow, curling the back. And lift. And four, curling the back. Keep an eye on those shoulders, shoulders relaxed, head and neck relaxed, no tension. And breathe out. And breathe in as you lean back. And lift. Two more, curling back. And lift. And one more. And lift. Good. Well done. I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging now. So we're going to curl back. So creating that curve in that lower spine. And then from there we're going to lift one leg up. Followed by the other leg up. We're not lifting too high. Let's keep our hands behind our thighs or on our shins for support. And again, keep an eye on what's happening neck and shoulders. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, and release. And let's repeat. So curling back, lift one foot off the floor, followed by the other. Remember, we're keeping the feet low. Don't lift too high. Keep your hands supported under your thighs or over your shins and breathe. Three more, leaning back as you breathe. Lift and lift. Hold for a few seconds and release. And again, breathing in, lift, lift and hold. And breathe out. And one more, curl its spine. Lift, lift, hold. And release. Good work, well done. All right, let's have our feet slightly further away and on our heels. So the knees are still bent, feet on our heels. So this time we're lifting both hands up towards the ceiling. We're going to start in a really nice sitting position, nice and straight. And again, similarly as we breathe in, we're going to start curling that spine down. And then reach. So we're doing the same exercise, just making it a little bit more challenging. So breathing in, curl that spine as you're reaching both hands up towards the ceiling, feel your core working. And breathe out and return. Breathing in, curl back, breathe out, return. Really make sure that you are on those sitting bones. You can actually really feel that you are working on them as you lean back and then you roll forward. Good. Four more, rolling down. And back up. So the fact that our hands are above our heads now, that makes the exercise a little bit more challenging. So again, keep an eye on that neck and shoulder area. No tension, just because the arms are up, we're not creating tension in the shoulder. Two more on your heels, rolling back. Lift. One more, rolling back. And lift and release. Well done. I'm just going to change the position so you can see me. And I want you to stretch one leg in front of you and bend the opposite knee if you can. From there, we're going to stretch our hamstrings. So lean forward as far as you can and feel that pull at the back of your neck and enjoy the stretch. Good. And release, change legs, so stretch the right leg away, bend the left knee, and again lean forward until you feel a stretch at the back of your leg, and hold. Good. 
Good, and release. All right, from that position, we're going to lie down on our backs with the knees bent, hands by our side. So take a moment to make sure you're in neutral spine. So that means that your back is not fully flat and not fully arched, but somewhere in between. So I can kind of slide my hand underneath, but not all the way through. And that our core, which is kind of the muscles below our belly button, are on. All right, from there, breathe into the breath. Breathe out, lift one leg up into table down, starting with the left leg. Lift both hands up, shoulder level. As I breathe out, I'm going to take both hands behind my head as I stretch the left leg away and return. Breathe out, stretch and return. And this is a really nice, easy exercise, which is going to challenge that neutral spine that we started off with. So the idea here is to really keep an eye on your lower back. Are you arching? Are you flattening your back? And you should really be keeping that lower back as steady and still as you possibly can as you move. Five more stretch. Again, working with your breathing. One, change leg. So now I'm starting with the right leg in tabletop. And this time I'm going to open my arms sideways. So that really opens the chest. So as I stretch the right leg away, I'm going to open both hands sideways in an arm opening position and then return. Then we're doing 10 of these nice and slow. Again, the idea is that you bring the leg and the arms at the starting position at the same time and you reach away at the same time. Similarly to what I've said before, keep an eye on your neutral spine, making sure you're not arching or flattening. Five more, nice and slow. Five, release. Four, release. Three, Release, two, and last one, good, and release, hands by your side. All right, from there we're going to bring that left leg up into tabletop again, and this time we bring the right foot, so feet together, knees slightly apart. We're going to lower the right foot down, tiptoeing down, and then we alternate. So one leg comes up, as the other comes down. Nice and slow. You might want to place your hands on your hips. So again, we're monitoring what's happening here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a short break. Lift your head off the floor if you'd like slightly bigger challenge. And off you go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Short break. Decide. Head off the mat or on the mat, whatever is easiest. And Matteo, we're doing another set. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Good work. Knees towards your chest. And breathe out. Stretch the right leg away. Bring that left knee across your body as you look over your left shoulder. And stretch that left leg away. Bring the right knee across your body as you look over your right shoulder. Good, and release. All right, so let's get back into this position with the knees bent, feet on the floor. And our next exercise is the bridging. And again, I'm going to give you two 
levels. So for those who usually do level two, we're going to flatten the spine and lift the hips off the floor. And I want you to hold that for about 10 seconds. For those who usually do level three or today would feel like a bit of a bigger challenge, we're combining this with hip lift. So lifting the right knee and hip off the floor and lowering it down whilst I stay in the bridging. So choose your level and three, four, five, go slow if you've chosen level three so you can really control that core. Please do not do this exercise if it gives you back pain. If it does, stick to level two, bilateral bridging. Three, two, one, and release. Curl that spine down nice and slowly onto the mat. And let's repeat, breathing in, flatten that spine, lift the table off the floor as high as you can. So level two, you're staying in this position for 10 seconds. Level three, we're going back to the hip lift. Stand. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One and release. Girl, let's find out. And breathe out. Or right, let's do one more flattening that spine, lifting those hips up. All of you just hold this position, really feeling those glutes working. And then slowly roll back down one vertebra at a time. Let's stretch the glutes, Press, place the right foot on top of the left knee, bring that left thigh towards you and stretch. And change, left foot on top of the right knee, pull towards you and stretch. Good, and release. All right, let's finish the session with a little bit of stretching again. So we're back in the sitting position. Make sure you're in a comfortable position. For me, this is a comfortable position. For some of you, it might be this or this. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. And we're going to place our hands on our elbows. And as we breathe out, we're going to twist to one side. And return, and breathe out, twist to the other side, and release. Let's do that again, breathing out, and change, and release, good. Let's place one hand on our side here, stretch the opposite arm up as you breathe out and change, side stretch, breathing out and release. One more on each side, breathe out and release, breathe out. And release. Bring your hands forward. Walk forward with both hands. Feel the stretch in your spine. Drop the head down. And again, walk back with your hands. And lift both hands up and stretch. And lower. Let's do that one more time. Breathing in, stretch. Breathe out, lower. Let's finish with some breathing. Place your hands on your tummy. Breathing in all the way in. Feel your tummy rise as you breathe in. And breathe out. 
And again, breathing in, feel your tummy rise as you breathe in. Hold that breath in. Again, no tension here. Breathe out. And one more, breathing in. And breathing out. Good. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. And um, stay safe and keep on moving. Take care.